Good afternoon, members of the media. As you've just heard, the Minister of Health announced Trinidad and Tobago has the first case of imported COVID-19. You've also heard him say some very critical points, which including that the person self-isolated upon entry into Trinidad and Tobago and upon contacting the family, he came in on Monday night, self-isolated on Tuesday. Upon contacting our medical health personnel on Wednesday, the family have then been quarantined. What we want to emphasize is exactly what we've been saying all along and including what was said as today's post-cabinet press conference. The government continues to be very fluid and monitoring the situation, monitoring other situations, meaning what is happening around the region, etc. And we ask people to continue to follow the advice that we've done. The Ministry of Communication later on today would be putting out basically a fact sheet setting out all that we've spoken about. What we're asking people to do is continue to be self-cautious, continue to exercise caution, and not expose yourself in unnecessary public gatherings and these types of things. We will continue to monitor the situation. Again, we thank and congratulate the Ministry of Health and its personnel, the Chief Medical Officer and his officers who have been doing a fantastic job. As we had told you all, we did have the meeting with all of the interministerial team, where the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service or Defence Force or Airport Authority or Ministry of Education, Tourism, Communications uh, and, and various ministries were present earlier on and our planning continues. The protocols have been implemented. The tracing is taking place. National Security will continue to play the supporting role as we've been doing and as and when necessary called into action for whatever needs we there may be. At this stage we continue to repeat there should be only emergency and essential travel by our citizens outside of Trinidad and Tobago and we just tell people to continue to exercise caution and personal caution at this stage. The good news from what I understand from our health experts having sat with them for the last 45 minutes is this case there was pretty much immediate isolation and we will just continue to monitor and when the contact tracing takes place as it has been done and we get more information we will we will take further decisions and announce them as necessary i think at this stage we will continue to keep you all informed as and when more information takes place or there's more information for us to provide at this stage we'll take a few questions and i think we ask that you all Move the mics down to the 